Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Next term, the oldest or one of the oldest terminal emulators available on Linux. It's rock solid. It still is maintained and gets regular updates, but it gets a lot of hate in the Linux community. And most Linux users don't like it. Even though it's installed by default in many Linux distributions, and it's available in every Linux distribution. But like I said, it gets a lot of heat, and there are other terminal emulators that are very popular, like Alacrity is very popular right now, and uh, GNOME Terminal is also very popular, and GNOME Terminal is installed in many distributions by default. And of course, there are many, many other terminal emulators available for Linux. But today I'm gonna to talk about Xterm because Xterm is my favorite terminal emulator. I love it and it's the terminal emulator I use. So I'm gonna show you why Xterm has a lot of hate. And I'm gonna show you how to configure Xterm so it looks nice. Well, let's get to it. So today, I'm running a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. So I'm going to open up Xterm. I'm just going to use my mouse. I could use my keyboard, but let's use my mouse. Just so you could see how the awesome window manager works. And here's Xterm. Now this is the way Xterm is installed by default. It has a blinding white background. The font is extremely small and you can hardly read it. Now, the thing is, if you use your mouse, you can't do anything with your mouse. There's no menu. You can't format the settings. Uh, you, can't find, you can hardly find a configuration file to go into it and configure it. Like with Alacrity and many other uh, terminal emulators, they come with a configuration file that's easy to find and easy to configure if you're used to configuring things. So a lot of people hate Xterm and they don't use it. I love Xterm because I know how to configure it to make it look nice the way I like it to look. And I like it because it's very light. When you're running Xterm, it only uses about uh, one megabyte of RAM. Now, it's not that I'm short on RAM, but uh, why waste RAM? Alacrity, I think it uses around 18 gigs of RAM, maybe 22 gigs of RAM. There's another term terminal emulator uh, called Terminator. Now, Terminator is very good in the way that it's user friendly and you can use your mouse. But Terminator, I believe it uses around 26 megabytes of RAM. And also, the GNOME terminal is very popular. It comes, of course, installed with Linux Mint. It comes installed with Ubuntu. It comes installed with the GNOME desktop. And it comes installed with many other distributions have GNOME installed by default. And of course, with the GNOME terminal, you can also use your mouse and there's menus and so forth. Anyways, we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about Xterm. So this is what I like to do with Xterm. And now this is the way my Xterm looks. So you see I have a black screen, I have a nice font, and um, let's do a NeoFetch. So there's NeoFetch. Now, if it's not large enough, I can make it larger. Hold the shift button down and hit the plus sign. If I want to make it smaller, I hold the shift button down and hit the minus sign. So now I'm going to show you how to copy and paste. So I have a web browser open up on Workspace ONE. So I'm going to go there. And I'm going to copy and paste this into the terminal. Now this is not going to be a real command that you would use in a terminal. But just, just for the purpose of showing you how to copy and paste with Xterm. So I'm going to highlight this. Then I'm going to go to Workspace 5 where I have Xterm open up. I'm going to hold the Shift button down and hit Insert. And there you go. I just copy and paste into Xterm. Now let's say I want to copy and paste from Xterm into Xterm. So I'm going to type in history, just as an example. 
Now, of course, if I wanted to run one of these commands, I could just do explanation mark and type in the number. So for instance, if I typed in 469 after the explanation mark, it's going to run the command. But that's not what I'm trying to do. So I want to show you how to copy and paste. So the way you copy and paste in the terminal would be the same way that we copied and paste from the web browser into the terminal. So let's say I wanted to copy and paste NeoFetch in here. I'm just going to highlight this. Hold Shift and hit Insert. And there you go. That's it. Now, if I want to change the font, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So what you want to do is you want to get a file right here. You want to make a file called X Resources. So it's going to be with a period, a large X and resources. You want to make that file and then you want to go into it. And you want to have these two lines in there. So you want to have the first line the way it is. And you can put any font in here. It just has to be the legitimate name of a font that you have installed on your computer. And then you want to put the size. So I have it at size 14. You can make it size 12 or size 10 or size 16 or 17. And that will be the size that it's always at when you open up your terminal. And then you want to put this second line in here. And the second line is the line that changes it from being a white background to a black background. And then you want to close the file and that's it. So I'm going to clear the screen. Also, there's another thing you have to do is in your startup file. So here I have a startup file called X period X and at RC. So you want to open that. Period X in it RC. Oops. We got to use Vim. Vim. So this is a startup file I have. It's called period X in it RC. So you want to have line number eight in there. X R D B space period large capital X resources. So you want to have this file in there. And if you don't have a file, make a file called period X in it RC in your home directory. And then make sure that line number eight is in there. X R D B space period, capital X, resources. And that's it. Let's get out of there. Let's clear the screen. So this was just a short video to show how I use Xterm, my favorite terminal emulator, and to show that you can make it look nicer and it is more usable than most people think. So I hope you'll give it a try. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mansion.